If you've been a dancer who has been victimized by the mindset of you are not going to be able to get on point unless you have your toes touch the floor, let me just be the one to tell you that that is not only incorrect, but it's also unhealthy for your feet. Unfortunately, it's become a pretty common misconception that if your toes don't point and touch the floor, that you can't go on point. When going on point is way more about the alignment, stability, strength, and technique of the dancer, not their flexibility and bone structure that they're able to touch those toes on the floor. Dancers all have different foot structures, some high arches that are weak, some low arches that are really strong, and some arches that are very rigid and immobile. Really, with dancers, it comes in every way, shape, or form. So as instructors and as dancers ourselves, we have to know how to work with what each body has. You may not be able to achieve the perfect point, but that doesn't mean that you aren't gonna be able to get on point someday and be safe. Trying to force your toes to touch the floor, especially if your bone structure does not allow that to happen naturally, can really cause a lot of problems for your foot and lead to injuries. I used to try to force my feet down to the floor by shoving them under couches and then locking back in my knees, weighting down my feet and using foot stretchers. And guess what, you guys? I paid the price. Years of doing things that were unsafe and trying to make my body something that it definitely was not has led me to problems with both of my feet, not just this one. Dancers with high arches, they may be more prone to hypermobility and really feeling unstable in their boxes. It may take you a little bit more time to build up the strength and technique so that you can get on point. Just because your dancer is born with these beautiful bones in their feet does not necessarily indicate that they are ready for point as soon as they come out. And dancers with low arches or less conditioned arches, they may be compensating in other areas of the body to make up for that. So watching the alignment and making sure that they're not stressing other tendons or ligaments is super important. Overall, there's a long list of criteria that physical therapists and therapy assistants, just like myself, use to evaluate point readiness in a dancer so that they are focusing not on the shape of your foot and having the perfect point, but the readiness, technique, alignment, strength, and stability, and making sure that dancer is safely going on point and not going before they are ready.